be sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. When you do that, you help my channel grow. Hi, I'm Miss Jessica and welcome to my book nook. In today's book, we meet Dr. Jet the vet. Dr. Jet treats all types of pets and critters, but then a new type of patient shows up that she's never ever seen before. I wonder if she'll be able to help them. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> And then we get to meet the author of the book. So stay tuned. Okay, let's read a book. Dr. Jet, Monster Vet. Written by AC Washington, DVM, and illustrated by Merv Eugen. Dr. Jet is a wonderful vet. She treats every critter and every pet. The turtle needs help when a shell gets cracked. Dr. Jet uses a special glue to keep it intact. The puppy gets hurt and tears her claw. Dr. Jet puts a bandage on her aching paw. After seeing many patients, including a snake, Dr. Jet heads to the park for a midday break. She hears rustling in the trees and swears she sees eyes. She calls out, hello, but no one replies. She sits to enjoy her delicious pie when a big furry monster falls out of the sky. <coughs> Dr. Jet drops her pie on the ground. She's never seen a creature like this around. I've watched you help others whenever they hurt. Can you help me? I ate too much dessert. I didn't intend to frighten you, but my mouth really hurts whenever I chew. I'm sorry, I can't help. Dr. Jet walks away. It's not her usual response, but she doesn't know what to say. He's nothing like the other animals that she has treated. She glances back at the monster, who's sad and looks defeated. She thinks to herself, what if I can't? What if I fail? But I have to do something. He looks so frail. He's not a normal pet, but he hurts just the same. Dr. Jet turns to the monster and asks, what's your name? Bezor, the monster answers quietly with a yelp. Come with me, said Dr. Jet. I'd love to try and help. They come back to her clinic. Bezor sneaks past the clerk. Once in the exam room, Dr. Jet goes to work. She examines his heart, his eyes, and his horn then finds a big tooth that's discolored and worn. She gives Bezor medicine and pulls the tooth out. Bezor doesn't whine, wiggle, or shout. <sighs> I feel so much better. I truly do. I'm going to tell my friends about you. The next day, Dr. Jet is back to what she usually sees a ferret, a parrot, an itchy kitten with fleas. She calls it a day and gets ready to go when she hears a soft tap from outside her window. She peeks out the window and her eyes get wide. There's a line of monsters waiting outside. They all come inside and sneak past the clerk. In the exam room, Dr. Jet goes to work. She fixes an antenna, a wing, and a red eyeball. By the end of the day, Dr. Jet fixes them all. The end. We just finished reading Dr. Jet Monster Vet, and the author is here with us today. Everyone, this is Miss AC Washington. 
Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Miss Jessica. Of course, your book was so much fun. What was your inspiration behind writing it? So I wanted to introduce more kids to veterinary medicine and have them have a better idea of what veterinarians do. I also wanted to contribute to diversity and representation in veterinary medicine and, and science careers in general, but I wanted to do it in a fun and whimsical way, and so that's why Dr. Jet sees more than just dogs and cats. You're a veterinarian, right? Yes. Yes? Oh my goodness, so you get to help animals all day long. <laughs> I do, mostly dogs and cats, but yes, <laughs> that's what I do. Oh, have you gotten to help any creatures or monsters yet? <laughs> no monsters. I would say the most interesting animal I have been involved with treating is a lion. <gasps> a lion? <laughs> a lion. <laughs> wow. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> so what is something you would like your readers and your listeners to learn from reading this book? I hope that readers gain a little bit more knowledge about what veterinarians do. I also want to show people how great it is to be someone who helps others. I also wanted to show the importance of asking for help. So in the story, if the monster never asked for help, he would still be hurting. Mm. Yeah, that's so true, that's so good. Dr. Washington also created a collection of coloring books that are diverse in theme, featuring mermaids, fairies, dancers, and angels. Well, Dr. Washington, thank you so much for joining us today and for being a part of my world. Thank you, Miss Jessica, and thank you for including Dr. Jet in your book nook. Oh, of course. <laughs> Everyone, this is Dr. AC Washington, and I'm Miss Jessica, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.